quickly go over what we did in the last video. We first created a Django app called Profiles. So open profiles slash models.py. We also created a model for profile. The model has two fields called name and description. I migrated the updated model to the database. I did all this so that I can store data in the name and description field. We also installed the profiles app in settings.py. Finally, just remember to run in terminal python manage.py make migration followed by python manage.py migrate anytime a model has been changed or created. Moving forward, we're going to open the terminal and to start the local development server, we run python manage.py run server. Open up Chrome and go to the admin URL. Make sure you're logged in. In the future, we'll use Django admin to manually enter, delete, or update information in the database. I'm gonna go over how Django URLs work. In Sublime Text, open source try 10 urlspy This is the file where URL patterns are defined. The URL pattern for admin is set on line 20. When you enter the admin URL in the browser, this URL pattern directs the user to the Django admin page. The URL pattern for admin was automatically created when I installed Django. To see how URLs work, first delete the word admin on line 20. Then on line 20 type another URL path. Save urls.py and open Chrome, then refresh the admin page. We get an error message saying page not found 404. This error message appears because in urls.py, we changed the admin URL pattern. At the end of the development server path, type slash another URL path. Now we get redirected to the admin page. So open up urls.py, hit command Z to change another URL path back to admin. This will introduce us to how URLs in Django work. We'll discuss more of this later. Open up Chrome and we'll know more about the admin by going to this highlighted site. I want to use Django admin to manage the profile model. In Sublime open source profiles admin.py. First, I need to import the profile model into admin.py. Type into line four from dot models import profile. Dot models is telling Django to look in the same folder as the file admin.py for a models file. Django will then import profile from models.py. To make the profile model manageable through Django admin, type into line six, class profile admin, open bracket, admin dot model admin, close bracket, colon. Then type class meta colon, then model equals profile, and then admin dot site dot register, open bracket, profile, profile admin, close bracket. Save admin.py. The profile model can now be managed with Django admin. Click on profiles, hit add profile, fill out the name and leave the default description and then click save. The profile name is displayed because open SRC profiles model.py because I set profiles Unicode to return self.name. I'm going to add a new field to the model profile. So copy the entire name field and then paste it below the description. Call this field location and then save models.py. 
open up your terminal, and to quit the server, hit Control C. Remember, whenever a model is changed or created, I need to run Python manage.py make migrations. I get this error message that says you're trying to add a non-nullable field location to profile without a default. Remember, non-nullable means that this field cannot be empty in the database. This message also says that the database needs something to populate existing rows. The existing rows are the existing profiles that currently don't have a location. I could handle this in a few different ways. Number one way to fix this migration error would be to make the location field nullable. Another way to fix this migration error would be to let Django provide a one-off default for the profiles without a location. Or I can fix the migration error by adding a default value to the location field. I'll add a default value. To quit this error message, type 2 and press enter. Then open S source profiles models.py. To add a default value to the location field, type default equals my location default. Then again, save models py, go back into the terminal and run Python manage.py make migrations. Then run Python manage.py migrate. The updated profile model has been migrated to the project's database. Next, run the server and open up Chrome. Go back to your admin page. Look inside a profile. The default value for location has been added to each profile. I'm going to add a job field to the profile model. So open up source profiles models.py and under line 9 copy location equals models. Then paste it below and type into line 10 job. At the end of line 10 you're going to delete default and add null equals true. A care field's default is to have blank equals false, null equals false, and default equals none. Null equals false and default equals none is what caused that migration error earlier. So to avoid the previous migration error, I either need to have null equals true, or I need to set a default value like I did for the location field. So save models.py, open up your terminal and quit the server. Then once again, run python manage.py make migrations. I get no migration error. This is because the job field has null equals true. Remember, null equals true means the job field can be blank in the database. Next, you're going to want to run python manage.py migrate. Run the server, and in Chrome, go back into admin and add a new profile. Leave the name, location, and job fields empty, and then click Save. I get an error message saying that these fields are required. This occurs because these fields, default, is to have blank equals false. If a field has blank equals false, it must be filled out before the form can be saved. So in Sublime, open models.py, and for the location field, type in line 7, end of the line, blank equals true, null equals true. Next, save the file, open up your terminal, and cancel the server. Yet again, we're going to run a run python manage.py make migrations, and then run python manage.py migrate. Run the server and go back to the admin page. We can add a new profile here. Now, in admin, the location field is no longer bold. This means the location field can be empty and the form can still be saved. Remember, 
This is because in the profile model, I made the location field have blank equals true. Lastly, open up models.py. We're going to delete the location and job field. I only created these fields to demonstrate these concepts. Yet again, save models.py. Open up your terminal and quit the server. Run python manage.py make migrations. And again, run python manage.py migrate. In the next video, we're going to create a new page for the site.